Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on these little brick stitch and component earrings. So what I've done is I've just used the, one of these rings and I made a little, you know, I brick stitched around it and then I made a, a little component and attached it from the inside. So here we did some super duos here. These are pie duos. I told you eventually I would come up with something <laughs> to use these odd shaped beads. Um, this is, I think, a Moby duo. This is a diamond duo. I'm having a little trouble with this one as far as getting a good um, tutorial on it. It's kind of bunches up a little bit. It looks pretty when it's done. What I'm gonna do is um, some short videos um, you know, on each one. So we're gonna start with the super duos. We'll make this one today and then we'll go to the others. I'll work on this one a little bit, see if I can get a good video out of it, but we'll definitely do these three um, in three separate videos rather than one long video. All right, so I'm gonna clear this off, get a materials list going, and we'll get started. So don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when I upload the others. Right, okay, let's get a materials list going. So I have chosen beads from the Emerging Spring Collection, so if you have it, grab your collection and use those beads, because we have the rings in the collection too. So you need a super duo, You'll need some 11 O's in two different colors. I'm using a metallic and a color. I love this mermaid blue, isn't that pretty? Um, 15 O, three millimeter bicone, two of the 20 millimeter rings, and you can use that these, or you can use a quick link. Now these aren't from the collection. These are something I had in my, um, in my stash because I use the ones from the collection for all my samples. So that's the one from the collection. They're really beautiful. So just any uh, 20 millimeter ring, I think you can get the quick links at either Joann's or maybe Michael's. Check that out. A couple ear wires. I have a stop bead. I'm using Wildfire here. I love Wildfire because it comes in so many different colors. It works perfectly for this, um, for this piece as well. So I used the green Wildfire on the blue one because I didn't have blue. If I had blue, I would have used it. I'm not sure they make blue, but I'm going to check it out. I used the green on this one. I used the gray on this one. So love all these different colors of wildfire. I just think they're they're really perfect for this kind of beading. All right, so let me put these down. So I think that's everything. So I'm going to clear this off and we'll get started. Don't forget to look down in the description box. Everything is linked below. This mat, Bronze Pony 10 coupon for the big mat, 10% off. The no more speed tray, all colors, sizes, shapes, you know the drill. All right, so don't forget to click the down arrow. And the show more, box will open, you you know. All right, see you in okay, a minute. let's get started. So thread your needle with about 30 inches of thread, put on a stop bead, and leave about an eight to 10 inch tail. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna brick stitch the ring. So I'm gonna pull in super tight, and I'm going to pick up one of my beads. So there's an 11-0. I'm going to come in through the back, see going back to front, and I'm going to hold that bead there with my finger. See that? I don't want the bead to come through. I want it to sit on top. So just hold it with your thumb and forefinger. And you see how it, hold on my finger, how it's coming through the back and I'm keeping the bead up here. Then I'm just going to loop my thread around the front, just like that, and that's going to lock it into place. So like that, and when I pull, and we'll do it a few times, it puts that bead right on the edge. Okay, let's do it again. Coming in through the back of the ring, and just holding it there with my finger. You know, if it moves, just move it back. First few are the hardest, and then I'm just going to sew right up through the bead. And then when I pull, see how it, it places that bead next to the previous bead. Here, I'll do it again. Picking up a bead, going through the back. Now it's getting a little easier. Back to front, and then up this bead right there. Go one more time, slipping the needle through back to front, and right up the speed. Okay, this is what you're gonna do all the way around until you have filled all the spaces. And I think it should be about 30 beads. 
give or take. But I think 30 fit for me. All right, so um, just keep going around and then come on back at the end and I'll show you how to connect. Okay, we're back, yeah. so let's connect the ring. So if you notice, I've my beads are fitting pretty nicely around the ring. Um, I wouldn't put another bead in there. Even if I had a teeny bit more space, I wouldn't put another bead in there. So only put enough beads so that when you have a space, it's not going to fit a, a whole bead. Because if you put a whole bead in, uh, it's going to buckle. So I would prefer there be a tiny bit of space than a buckle. This one's fitting pretty perfectly. So here is this, this is where I am. I'm just going, I'm exiting here. I'm just going to sew through this one. So that's the original one we put on. I'm going to go through the ring. I'm going to turn it around and I'm just going to sew back up through that same bead, you know, that the tail thread is coming out of. And then I'm going to pull. Do you see how that pulls together? I'm going to turn back to the front like this. And then I'm going to sew my threads in. So I'm going to just go this way. Just going to sew down. Make sure the frame or not blurring. I'm going to sew down through this one. I'm not going around the ring. I'm going to sew up through this one. So I'm just going to do this a few times. And if you need to change your needle to a size 12 beading needle, you can. So I'm just going up and down. And then to lock it into place, I'm going to go back this way. Oops. Up this way and then down one more. So now I'm pretty much locked into place. There you go. Like that and I can clip off this thread. I'm going to do actually the same thing with this thread. Now you notice you get more thread uh, around the top. So you know just do it enough so it's um, nice and secure. Do the same thing with this thread. I was going to use the thread, but I think we're just going to, just because it'll be easier, we're just going to clip off our tail thread. All right, so get that done and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, let's start on the interior um, little component. So I threaded my needle again with about 30 inches of thread, put on a stop bead and left enough of a tail to sew in. So I'm picked up and dropped down to my stop bead, an 11 2 two super duos, an 11 2 two super duos, an 11 2 two super duos, an 11 and two super duos. This is what I have. I'm going to drop those down to my stop bead. And I'm going to sew those into a circle by sewing through the first couple of beads after my stop bead. Like that. And you can Go around a little bit. You can even reinforce this all the way around if you would like. A little bit more. Just come on past the stop bead. Just buy a couple of the super duos, exit a bottom hole of a super duo. So just like that. So just get to this point and we'll continue. So I am going to at this point reverse direction by going, I'm exiting the bottom of the hole of the super duo. I'm going to sew through the top hole. I'm going to pick up one 11 0 and I'm going to sew through the next super duo. Then I'm going to pick up an 11 0, a 3 millimeter bicone, and an 11 0. And I'm going to sew through the next super duo. I'm going to repeat this all the way around. 11 0, through the next super duo. 11 0, bicone. 11 0, through the next super duo. So you're going to do this till you get to the end and then come on back and we'll continue to the end. So 11-0, bicone, 
Lebano. Just gonna sew through this super duo and just down through until I get past the get to the bicone. So here through the super duo, Lebano, super duo, Lebano, and the bicone. This is where I want you to come out. So just get to that point and come back and we'll continue. Okay, time to attach to the ring. So this is how it's going to go, like that. So choose, um, so you want to kind of find center. However, I would choose beads that I haven't gone through two or three times. So you remember when I we, we sewed in the threads, we went back and forth. So maybe try to find center where you haven't used, you know, gone through the beads several times just for the ease of getting through. So I'm just going to find the two beads that are sort of centered here. Let me pull in a little bit. Here and then just go to the bottom. So I don't know, you want to just just look around and see how you can cut the thing sort of in half. So that works. So I'll use these two beads to connect. I'm just going to put my thumb there. So, and I'm, here is my piece, my component. Hold on, let me just move this thread. Okay, so I'm, whoops, I'm exiting right here. I'm gonna take a 15-0 and I'm just gonna sew up through one of the two beads that I've chosen. And once you get that one on, you know, it's easy from there. So there we go, so I have one bead on. I'm going to sew down through the next one, so the one right next to it. And then I'm going to take a 15-0 and I'm going to sew through the bicone. So I'm just going to go like this, right through the bicone. And that's going to connect my first corner on. And I'm going to try to, I'm just going to hold it. I'm really eyeballing this, not counting anything because I just, it just works out better. I think it works out better when you eyeball it because when you count the beads, like see some of the beads have a teeny bit more space than others, so it doesn't really help. So I've gotten that one on. I'm going to advance my needle through all the beads, the top hole of all the beads till I get to the next bicone. like that so I can get ready to put that one on and you just want to make sure that you know they're kind of straight give it a pull so that they straighten out so just like that so I'm just gonna let it get to this point and then we'll put one more uh, we'll put the side one on and then I'll let you go on, on your own. so we're gonna do the next one so I'm just making sure that it's as you know as centered as possible I see that this bicone will attach to these two beads down here very nicely so I'm just gonna hold my finger there and that's gonna locate where I'm going to put my side, attach my side. So here, I'm exiting here, I think probably through this one. So I'm gonna get through that one. So this is where I have some double thread. So you may have to, um, you know, uh, use a, a thinner needle. I'm getting through okay. Then down through the one next to it, pick up a 15-0, and sew through the bicone, like that, give it a pull, and that's looking very good so far. So just like I said, eyeball it, um, keep looking at it, make sure it's even, do so advance all the way down to the next bicone, do the same thing, next bicone, do the same thing. Don't cut off the last thread. We'll use that to attach the ear wire. All right, seen a few. We're back. So I've gotten all my points attached. And if you notice, it, it pops up a little bit. It's, it's supposed to. They will all be, be a little dimensional. All right, so I'm exiting the bicone. So I'm going to use this to put my ear wire on. So I'm just going to go back up through this 15 -0 and the bead above it right there. So I'm going to put my ear wire on here. So I have an ear wire here. I have a, uh, I think I'm going to use gold. Should I use, well, maybe I'll just use the blue on this. Okay, picking up a bead, an 11 -0. Just going to go through my ear wire. You can put a wire guardian here, um, a, 
a um, jump ring, whatever you, whatever you like. So I'm exiting this guy. I'm going to just sew down through the one next to it and the 15 0 and that's going to pop your ear wire on. So let me straighten that out. So this lever back works with one bead. If you're using just the um, a regular uh, hook like this, um, you can you may need two beads. So you'll just figure that out um, as you go along, whether what's going to fit right there. Then I'm going to go through the bicone. like that. And then you can go back up through the ear wire to um, reinforce and then you're just going to sew through, you know, you'll come out again and then you'll sew through a few beads um, and lock this into place and you're going to be done. All right, so come on back and we'll finish up. Okay, we're back. So here are our earrings. So just a note, if you are having trouble getting through the outside beads because you have too much thread, just sew your thread in around the unit on the inside. No problem. All right, so here are all our earrings. Um, you know, I'll post some short videos on doing the interiors and attaching um, for as many of these pieces as I can. I hope you enjoyed this video. So much fun for summer, just a light, easy earring to make. And, um, you know, you can make it in the morning and wear it in the evening. <laughs> All right. So take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.